a pleasant greetings to all in this video i am going to explain how to form the weibers matrix using matlab i am going to explain all the steps using the matlab okay see this is the problem given all the values are given let us admittance admittance is y okay next i am going to explain how to write the program for weibers matrix Okay, step number one. Clear all. So what is clear all? Clear or delete the variables created in the workspace. That is clear all. And next one is CLC. What is CLC? CLC is the basically use command to clear the command window. Then third, display Weber's formation O. It is used to display the title of the program. And next one is n branch, the input, enter the number of branches in the system. Here, this find out the number of branch. So, how many branch? 1, then 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, total number of branches in the given problem is 5. And next one is display, enter line data. So, the data should be displayed. And next, I am going to explain about for loop. So, this is the standard formulas used in the for loop. For n is equal to 1, 1, n branch. Fb. So, in the for loop, first of all, enter from bus. That is known as f. Tb is the enter to bus. See here, the bus number 1. This is enter from bus. 2 buses TB2. So 1, 2, 2. And then I uh, have to put the value R. R is 2 here. And X is the input. Enter the value of reactance. Then find out Y value. So for finding out Y, first of all I am going to find out Y1. Y1 is the summation of R plus I into X. So Y is equal to Y1. So, up to this, you have to write. Then, line data. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Have to put this in the line data. So, how to write the line data? So, line data equal to the first column represents line data. The first column represents FP. And second column represents TB. And third are X and Y. So, first column enter from the bus. And second column, enter two bus. What is the resistance? Resistance value 1, 2, 3, that is 1. And what is the reactance? That is minus 3. Then find out the Y, that is 1 minus J3. So this is the value for the first row. And FB is a representation of first column element. In the similar manner, we have to finish for the five branches. TB also finish for 5 branches. And R have to finish the 5 branches. X also finish 5 branches. Y also finish 5 branches. This is the line data. This is the first for loop is over. Before that, I am going to explain how to find the Y bus matrix analytically. Here how many buses? 1, 2, 3 and 4. 4 buses. Corresponding to 4 cross 4 matrix. So first one is first element Y11, Y12, Y13, Y14, Y21, Y22, Y23 and Y24, Y31, Y32, Y33 and Y34, Y41, Y42, Y43 and Y44. Next how to write Y11. What are the elements connected to Y11? That is Y1, Y12 and Y13. Both are summed up together. What is Y12? Y12 is minus of Y12. And Y13 is minus Y13. And Y14, is there any element connected between 1 and 4? No. Put 0. Then Y21. Y21 is minus of Y21. And Y21 plus Y23 plus Y24, that is Y22. Three branches are connected. 2, 1, 2, 3 and 2, 4. And remaining element, you have to write like this. 
and find out the value y12 equal to 2 minus j6 plus 1 minus j3, 3 minus j9. This is the first element. Second element y12 is minus of 2 minus j6 that is minus 2 plus j6. In this way, I have to finish the remaining element also. Next, I am going to explain why we write this code fb. fb equal to line data of colon 1. It take the value, the first column values, fb. And tb is the second column values. Or third column value, x fourth column value. And the y is the fifth column value. These are about the representation of line data. Then after finishing this, up to this you have to represent all. After finishing this, n bus. What is n bus? The maximum of fb and maximum of tb. fb is the from bus. tb is the to bus. The element from bus and tb is element to the bus. FB is 1 to 2, 1 to 3, 2 to 3, 2 to 4 and 3 to 4. And TB is 1 to 2, 1 to 3, 2, 3, 2, 4, 3, 4. Of FB is 3. Maximum of TB is 3. So maximum value is taken by N bus that is 4. N branch, how the length of the N branch equal to what? The length is equal to 5. How many branches are there? There are 5 branches. Then y bus equal to 0. So initialize the y bus. So how to initialize the y bus means 4 cross 4. All the elements should be 0. So this is the initialization of y bus. So any bus is formed. Before that we have to initialize the bus by putting 0. And next two diagonal elements. This is the diagonal element, actual diagonal element. These are known as half diagonal elements. Here find write the program for half diagonal element first, then diagonal element. For k is equal to 1 to n branch. 1 to n branch is 1 to 5. F B of F B of 1, T B of 1. Okay, that is equal to Minus y of 1. Okay, here there is no fb of 1 and tb of 1. fb of 1 and tb of 2 is there. So, the value is minus y of 1. Then, y bus of tb of k, fb of k equal to y bus of fb of k, tb of k. That means, tb of k, that is 1, 2, that should be equal to 2, 1. That is the representation of this line. After formation of diagonal elements. Next form the diagonal element. Diagonal element is here. This is y11, y22, y33, y44. These are the diagonal elements. How to form this diagonal elements? For m is equal to 1 to n bus. n bus is 4. 1 to n branch. n branch is 5. fb of n equal to m. fb of n means fb of 1. So fb of 1 equal to m. And tb of n. So tb of 1. tb of 1 equal to m. m is equal to 1. 1 1. y bus of 1 1 equal to y bus of 1 1 value plus y of n. y of n means y of 1. The branch y of 1 value for example, y bus of y11. I am going to find out y11. That is y11 plus y1 plus y2. That are connected. So 1, 2, 1, 2 is connected, 1, 3. So y3 also I am going to write. So what is y11? y11 is the summation of these three. y11, y2 plus y3. In the similar manner, find out y22. How to find out y22? y22 is y22 plus y of n. So y of n equal to what? y of n is equal to y23, no y3. Then y of n equal to y4. 
Y4 means that is 1, 2, 3, 2, 4. These values are added to Y22 to find out the net element Y22. In this way, finish all the diagonal elements. So, first if end, this for loop end, this first for loop the last end. In this way, finish all the program. After finishing this, put Y bus. Then what is Z bus? This is the inverse of Y bus. This is the program to find out the Y bus matrix. I am going to explain the same program using MATLAB software. First of all, open the MATLAB command window. Now I am going to paste the program as well as I have already explained. That I am going to paste in the command window. Okay, the program is pasted now. Enter the number of branches in the system. There are five branches. Enter from bus, that is 1. Then enter to bus, that is 2. Okay, then put the values one by one, the resistance, and then write the reactance. Enter from bus 1 and enter to bus 3 and put the resistance value 1 and reactance is minus 3. And next from bus 2 and enter to bus that is 3. Then put the values of resistance 0 0.666 and put the value of reactance that is minus 2. And enter from bus 3, then enter to bus 4, put the value 2 resistance and reactance minus 6. Then enter from bus 2. And enter to bus 4 and put the value of resistance 1, reactance minus 3. So all the values are over, then directly calculate the Y bus value. So Y bus, this is the Y bus matrix. Then using the inverse of Y bus, we get the Z bus matrix. Thank you. Have a nice day.